Is that, is that part of I think so. I, I think that's right. I think that's right. And you know, structures of thought also. You can see in a poem like that one that you've just heard, like you going, I need to go back and look at it again, I'm sure. But you can see there's argument being run through there and being contended with and backed up. And that's a thing that a lawyer learns to do. But also it's a thing that if you're the kind of person who might become a lawyer, you're inclined to do in the first place. So <laughs> philosophy is part of my background too. And also languages and syntax and uh, the beauty of a well-made sentence is just relatively little, or a line if it's poetry, relatively little competes with that for me. And that's not what lawyers are doing in most of their affidavits. <laughs> but they are making money and making sense and making change through working with language, aren't they? So that, but the discipline just of sticking to a task and getting something done that I didn't really want to get, get done is helpful to a creative. Uh, and it's true that I, I think, that, you know, I've made more work than I would have done over the years because I've got a kind of work ethic that's partly come from my Methodist forebears, actually, and the kind of not drinking too much alcohol. Like, my parents never drank anything. I didn't drink much until a certain point. I'm a very strange poet so in Australia. Until I, so I became a soccer player, actually. So my first beers were like, let's go up to the ranch after the grand final. I'm going, okay, this stuff tastes like shit. Other people like, what is it? So I quickly got on the wine and scotch and more uh, interesting substances, I think. Uh, so yeah, structures and um, the, but the other parts of my background that are relevant maybe are my grandfather's an orator, a Methodist minister, a preacher. You can hear that in the work. And my mother, um, not, not his, his um, daughter, but on the other side, my mother was a sacred musician, organist. And, so, so we're growing up with Bach and choral music and counting beats and playing cellos and all of that kind of stuff. That's part, that's part of, mm -hmm. so it's not part of the process to get back to the question, but it's part of the discipline that I think. I think I'm looking for what it is in poetry that's the equivalent of those disciplines in the other mm -hmm. art practices. So this covers a painting by Josh Yeldon, who's a very great Australian poet, and Josh has got the most uh, astonishingly dedicated discipline of art practice that that I know he turned up to the campus a lot, and when, even when he doesn't want to, he's managed to get himself reasonably successful, which helps because obviously then you're not having to do what I have to do and love doing most of the time, also. But that's teach and bond teachers, and we do other things. But um, art itself is a practice. Um, I, I, I want, I, I want to understand and and steep myself in. The disciplines that have attended that because I think there's well I mean I've said this in other places but 